The last boss is Kill Jaden, which has five phases. In phase one, tank the Hand of Deceivers away from each other because they summon imps that do large AoE damage. Ranged and healers stay at least 30 yards away because they cast Shadow Bolt Volley. These mobs can also be stunned in silence, so if you're able to CC lock them, you could just do that and AoE them all down. Phase two begins when they're all dead. Spread out to avoid damage from Fire Bloom, tanks will get hit by repeated soul flays, and healers need to raid heal the Legion Lightning, which jumps to up to five players. Kill Jaden also summons Shield Orbs, which deal damage to the raid, so you'll want to kill them as fast as possible. Once Kill Jaden reaches 85% health, Phase 3 begins, and he has four new abilities. Sinister Reflection, which spawns four copies of a raid member, so the tanks need to group these up and then AoE them down. Shadow Spikes, which is summoning a giant purple spike at a raid member, and when it lands, does damage in 8-yard AoE. It goes to where the raid member was standing at the time of the cast, so you can move away from where it's going to land. Flame Dart Explosion hits everyone for fire damage and applies a move speed slow, but there are orbs scattered around the room that allow you to control a blue dragon with the following abilities. Breath Haste, which grants immunity to effects that reduce movement speed a la that flame dart explosion and shield of the blue which reduces all damage taken within 10 yards by 95 percent also blink and breath revitalize which is a health and mana regeneration spell and the final ability kill jaden has is darkness of a thousand souls which is a raid wide aoe that will kill everyone unless a blue dragon controlled by a raid member uses shield of the blue and everyone stands within it you have limited uses of shield of the blue so you need to make sure you have good dps for this fight phase four begins at 55 percent health the only new spell is armageddon which which you can tell where it will hit by the Warlock Hellfire spell looking animation. This massive meteor will hit and deal 10,000 damage. There will also be an additional shield orb spawn during this phase. Finally, phase 5 begins at 25% health when Anvina sacrifices herself, stunning Kill Jaden and increasing holy damage taken by 25%. All four dragon orbs are empowered and the frequency of Kill Jaden spells will increase. You need to rush to bring him down before he uses 9 Darkness of a Thousand Souls because you'll run out of Shields of the Blue after that. When you bring the demon down, he drops this loot.